Matthew Soames is the largest of three islands in Wellington Harbour, situated about eight kilometres from Wellington City. It is protected by the Department of Conservation as a scientific and historic reserve and is open to the public throughout the year. The Dominion Post Ferry sails to the island seven days a week. However, during dry spells, the island can be closed due to fire risk. Check www.eastbywest.co.nz for information. Rats were eradicated from the island in the 1980s and now there are no mammalian predators. The island has become a sanctuary for native plants, birds, reptiles and invertebrates. All visitors must check bags at the Fari Kiore upon their arrival to help keep Matthew Soames free of pests and the seeds of invasive weeds. You can access the island by boat or kayak, but you are only permitted to land at the main wharf and must then check your bags through the Fari Kiori. By the 1850s, the island had been largely cleared of vegetation and no large trees remained. Some of the older trees were planted in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. A major restoration program was begun in 1981, with emphasis on plants thought to have originally been on the island and regionally threatened species. Since then, over 100,000 trees have been planted. Several animal species have been introduced to Matusomes, including giant weta, Kakariki, North Island Robin, and Tuatara. The island is also home to a variety of birds, several species of skink, geckos, hundreds of invertebrate species, and the world's smallest penguin, the Little Blue. Walking around Matu Soames offers stunning views. Upon arriving, a sealed road takes you to the visitor centre and to gentle tracks that circumnavigate the island. Make sure to go to Shag Rock Lookout and the lighthouse, the oldest building on the island, which is still in use. For generations, Māori used Matu Soames as a strategic path. Only accessible by waka, it was easy to secure and defend. Tiatiawa has maintained Kaitiakitanga guardianship and Mana Whenua, trusteeship of the island to the present day. From the 1870s until 1920, Matthew Soames Island was used as a human quarantine station for passengers from immigrant ships suspected of carrying infectious diseases. A monument stands on the island to those who lost their lives while confined here. For over a hundred years until 1995, Matu Soam served as an animal quarantine station. Animals arriving from all over the world were kept on the island until given a clean bill of health. In World War I and much of World War II, the island was an internment camp for enemy aliens who were considered a security threat. On the summit of the island are four gun emplacements that remain from a World War II heavy anti-aircraft artillery position. They were built in 1942, but never saw action. Thanks to the dedication of numerous individuals, groups and organisations, today Matu Soames is a peaceful refuge for wildlife and a reminder of our cultural heritage. Say 
sacred ground from creatures great.